Hey guys, as promised, last thing I want to test here is the XTR shifter and the XTR 12 speed trailer and all this with an Eagle cassette. That is because I don't plan on buying anything Micro Spline or the new Shimano cassettes, not yet anyway, even though I have DT Swiss hubs and I can find the Micro Spline for them right now. For those of you that have seen my video running this hybrid XTR 12 speed shifter with the GX trailer, uh, some of you said that the shifting is clunky and is noisy. I would argue that this worked quite well, but here is another quick test just so you have it as a baseline. So I have a Shimano shifter, SRAM GX, a chain, cassette, and rear derailleur. Here we go, one by one first. All the way up. So that's what I have right now. That is not bad at all. I would definitely run this combination any time of day. So let's replace the GX derailleur with the XTR. I'm gonna reuse the cable and the chain. Yes, I wish the XTR had a cage lock just like the SRAM derailleurs do. First, the fixing bolt uses a five millimeter Allen key. I put a little bit of Loctite over there and as you tighten it here on the hanger, make sure that there is no gap here with this uh, B-gap stop, I think they call it. Eight to 10 Newton meters torque on this bolt. To adjust the limit screws, use a two millimeter Allen key and just like Eagle, line up that top jockey to the outside of that first cog of the cassette. Make sure you're on the highest gear here on the shifter. Then use a four millimeter Allen to route that inner cable here onto the stop. The inner cable pretty much wraps around the bolt. And here it is. Yeah, don't mind my hairy inner cable. I'm gonna replace it before I start riding. Chain length recommended by Shimano, almost the same as recommended by SRAM, but maybe easier to measure. So they ask for big to big, which I have here, plus one, two, three, four. I have five links, they recommend four or five, plus the quick link. So I'm definitely within their specs for hardtail. Just be aware that the housing needed here for XDR is definitely longer than what Eagle requires and with that uh, low limit screw adjusted properly it's time to take a look at the B-gap and this is how easy it is to adjust that B-gap given the uh, mark that Shimano provided on their rear derailleur so thanks Shimano, smart. And for those of you that want to know what I ended up with, as per SRAM that would be 16, 17 millimeters. As per Shimano, they measure to the axle here, that would be 45 millimeters. So with the installation done, I have XDR shifter and the railer, 12 speed Shimano drivetrain. Does it work? I don't know, let's give it a try. multiple at a time. And two at a time. All right, so what do you think? It works fine, it works perfectly fine. Is it any better than what I showed you at the beginning of the day when I had the SRAM Eagle derailleur? I would lie to you if I said that I noticed a huge difference. Maybe, maybe a slightly lighter uh, shifter uh, actuation and that would be because of the springs and the tension in the clutch. For me they both work fine and I would use either one of them anytime. And there is one more question that I'm going to try to answer and that is in regards to how far out does the derailleur come from the frame. I will be measuring from the actual derailleur hanger and this XTR is about 28 millimeters or almost three centimeters. 
as opposed to that this uh, SRAM Eagle X01 is about four centimeters so I'm talking about at least an extra centimeter that this uh, SRAM Eagle sticks out from the frame so there you have it guys I hope you found this useful if you did don't forget to like and subscribe is there any conclusion any other conclusions to be had which one do I prefer between the XDR 12 speed and the Eagle 12 speed to be honest with you I think I would get used to either one of those I used to use Shimano a lot I've been using Eagle for the last year or so they both work perfectly fine and they offer a great range for the writing that I do and Shimano is at least as good maybe better if you like the feeling of that uh, new shifter but uh, otherwise uh, it's perfectly fine the biggest takeaway for me is the fact that they are interchangeable the components are and that would allow you to keep less spare parts in the house if you have more than one drivetrain to maintain and that's about it guys if you have any questions let me know in the section below don't forget that I have a few more videos talking about XTR 12 speed definitely have quite a few talking about SRAM Eagle and until next time I hope to see you folks on the trails cheers guys cheers <laughs>